Hi guys, welcome back to Wells B Sports. Outside the race course early on a Sunday morning. I just want to give my reaction to react some shock defeats yesterday. A home to Tramia Rovers. I still can't believe it happened. How did they lose that game? I refuse to accept it. In my head, they won 3-1. They completely dominated that game. Certainly for the first 70 minutes, completely in control. Well, before I carry on, please do me a favor. Please subscribe to the channel if you can. Please come on board and join me. I want to get another six subscribers within the next week. If I achieve that, I'll be happy as a pig in shit. I'll be delighted. So please come on board and join me if you can. Yes, as I said, Wrexham lost yesterday, a home to Tramia. A shock. I can't believe it. How did they lose that? They completely dominated the game. You know I mean, Tramia were living off scraps for most of the match. The goal could have been prevented. A mistake by Cannon is usually so reliable. He's a great player, Cannon. He just misjudged the clearance. He misjudged the bounce. He misjudged the clearance. On another day, that's gone for a throw in. A lovely finish by Norris. A cute little finish. On another day, that goes for a goal kick. But for most of the game, Tramia were living off scraps. I know they had another chance in the first half off the line. Cannon making up for his mistake with a really good clearance off the line. But it was all Wrexham really, wasn't it? Mullins header in the first half just went wide. On another day, that settles in the bottom corner. Wrexham were getting forward in numbers from the beginning. They've been doing that lately at home. I'm so used to seeing Wrexham sit back at home, keep it tight, keep it safe, and just invite the opposition on and then break on the counter. But no, recently they are trying to get forward more. They're creating a lot more chances. When they, when they break Wrexham, they always get players forward. Four or five players in the box. They use the wings so well, Mendy. Lee, Barnett, when they're on fire, they're so impressive. Yesterday, the final ball was a problem. Lots of possession, lots of attacking play, getting forward in numbers, it was just the final ball. Lots of half chances, lots of clearances, lots of crosses that didn't find their man. But like I said, Mullen had the header in the first half. There were several half chances in the first half. Fletcher had a couple of block shots during the game. Dolby's header just wide. Lee had a shot that just looped over, a deflected shot that was tipped over for a corner. You know, lots of shots that just went wide, lots of balls that just were cleared. On another day, Wrexham scored two or three. I was convinced they were gonna score. I told people around me yesterday at the game, this, 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 don't, don't worry, this won't carry on. There's no way Tramia can survive this pressure. There's no way Tramia can survive the amount of balls going into the box, the amount of half chances. Eventually, Wrexham will get a clear cut chance. Eventually, they'll put one away. And then you think the floodgates would open. But no, they just couldn't quite the final, get the final ball. It just wouldn't drop for them. And as I said, they dominated most of the game until the last 20 minutes when, when Parkey made some substitutions, very aggressive substitutions, the right substitutions, but it just changed the shape, didn't he? Left us very open at times, and Tramia, the last 20 minutes, started finding some space, started getting more of the ball, getting more players forward, and uh, were looking, looking a bit more dangerous. O'Connell made a great challenge late on, when Tramia were almost clean through. Brilliant piece of defending, but there wasn't much from Tramia, as I said. It was all wrecked, and so much possession, so much of the ball, so many half opportunities. Just a bit of luck is what we needed, but... They've just got to bounce back now. Mansfield, Mansfield won. They're now five points clear with a far superior goal difference. That goal difference can be difficult to overcome. If not impossible, that's like an extra point, isn't it? That's an extra point. So, uh, we've got to keep going. Keep going and see where we end up. We're still well in the title race. We're favorites for automatic promotion. Just try and win three of the next four games. Try and put a little run together get nine points out of 12 and see where we are at the end of it. That's all we can do. Everyone's very inconsistent. Nobody's running away with it. So uh, it's just up to keep going, keep going, keep battling away. 
Mansfield come here in two weeks. That's going to be a huge, huge game. That could decide so much. Stockport's here on the last day. There's opportunities. There's opportunities for Wrexham. They're going to have to take them. But those opportunities are running out. So just bounce back, go on a nice little run, pick up some points and get back to winning ways and just see where we sit in three or four games. Cheers, guys. Thanks for that. And I'll see you on the next video.